a coffee shop in Milwaukee. Amanda Zorowski and Caitlin Joshua shared their life-changing experiences while pregnant in a post-Roe era. Both live in states that implemented near-total abortion bans after Roe v. Wade was overturned, a decision they say made it extremely difficult for doctors to intervene during their medical complications. It was smooth sailing, and then suddenly at 18 weeks, I suffered catastrophic complications. I was told that I had to wait until I got so sick that my life was considered in danger, which is one of the only medical exceptions in Texas. The event was one of four held in Wisconsin this week by President Joe Biden's campaign to highlight the differences on abortion views in the presidential race. We're simply asking for the most basic level of maternal health care, but because of Donald Trump's laws, we are being denied basic care. Former President Donald Trump, who's taken credit for overturning Roe v. Wade, has been recently clarifying his stance on the issue. He believes states should decide their own abortion restrictions. The Supreme Court agrees uh, and, and kicked it back to the states, and obviously that is, that is something that we think is the best approach in this 2024 election. Voters in about a dozen states could decide the fate of abortion rights on the November ballot. And while that doesn't include Wisconsin, the state will still play a crucial role in deciding who wins the White House.